Hi everyone, in this video we will go over how to schedule a Zoom meeting. First thing is to go to your URL bar and type in the address zoom.us. From the Zoom homepage, you will need to sign in now that you've created an account. Here you should be able to type in your email address and password if it isn't already in there for you, and click the blue sign in button. Okay. Now I am on my account page for Zoom, and in the upper right corner I can see the Schedule a Meeting button, I'll click that. There's a few steps you need to go through to create your first meeting. First, you want to type in your topic and description. Okay, I've added my topic and the description. Then it's going to ask you to enter when you would like the meeting, how long you want it to be, and in what time zone. You can fill that out. I want mine to be this Saturday, 10 a.m. is fine, 45 minutes, and Eastern time is great. You do need to create a password to create the most security for your Zoom event. It automatically gives you a password or you can customize it to whatever you want it to be. Then you have some options for your meeting. Do you want your video if you're a host and participant on or off from the start of the meeting. Um, I like them to be off and then we can turn them on as we get started. And then for meeting options, the default is that your participants will enter in a waiting room and then you'll have to accept that they can enter into the Zoom meeting. I think that that is another good security measure. So if somebody is in your waiting room who shouldn't be there, you can ignore them. The rest of these options are up to you. And then click Save. All right, so now we can double check our meeting information, the topic description, time, and here you have the option to add the meeting to your calendar. I use Google Calendar, so I'll click that. It's going to ask me to sign into my Google account, and it'll ask me to give permission to Zoom to access my calendar. I'm fine with that, so I'll click Allow. And here we can see it automatically keeps the title of the meeting, the date, and the time. And if we scroll down, we can see the information that's going to pop up in my calendar with the link to the meeting and the password. From here, I could send the same calendar event to my mentees if I wanted by using this guest section. So I could type in their email addresses here and send them the meeting information and they will get the same information that we see down here. But for now, I'm just going to click Save. And if I look down on June 27th, I can see my meeting has appeared here. Let's go back to our Zoom meeting information. Another way that you can invite your mentees is using the invite link. So you can see the link here that you can copy and paste. Or if you click the copy invitation, it'll give you a more robust invitation that you can copy. So if I just copy that, it's already been copied to my clipboard. Then I can go to my Gmail account or whatever email account you want to use and just paste this information in and send it to my mentees. Or you could even send this information in Slack. Okay, so I am going to click cancel, finish reviewing the rest of the details. I'm happy with all of this. I can see here that I can also edit this meeting if I want or start this meeting using the blue button. But for now, I am finished with scheduling my meeting and sending the information to my mentees. So that's all I need to do. I could close out of this screen. In the next video, we will go over how to start and have a Zoom meeting.